lives of hundreds of people across Canada. And as we just saw, they can happen anywhere. With some important tips on how to keep you and your family safe, here's David Shum. You want to give me some and I'll throw them in and then you can jump in and get them? Sure. Wendy Galanders loves taking her two children, James and Charlotte, swimming. But a trip to Florida last year gave her the scare of a lifetime. I was holding my son. Uh, he got out of the pool for a second. I turned to my daughter to say something. And then I heard some strange sound, gurgling. I turned around and he was under the water in the deep end. You know, looked like he was going down and having trouble coming up. Um, it was really scary. Luckily, Glanders' son, James, survived, but it taught the mother of two a lesson. Supervision is really critical. As I say, one thing I do whenever, um, especially with my younger son, my older daughter has some skills now in swimming, but he doesn't really, so I always make sure he has a life jacket on. It's stories like this that safety experts say happen all too often. The latest numbers from the Life Saving Society show that in 2006, there were a total of 508 drowning and water-related deaths in Canada. 184 of those in Ontario alone. Nearly two-thirds were from swimming-related accidents, the other third from boating. The summer is the ideal time to take a swim in the lake, but the dangers are real. Safety experts say someone can drown very quickly in as little as 20 seconds. Swimming in the open water can also have its challenges. Water changes every year. You may go to a swimming area that you've been to year after year, but what you may not realize is that this year the water's different, this year there's an undertow, this year the, uh, the levels are different. In order to keep your head above water, experts advise people to wear a life jacket when boating. If your children are in the water, make sure to stay within arm's reach. Go to a lifeguard, supervised beach or pool, and most importantly, learn to swim. Advice Wendy Galanders is following. Uh, it just gives me peace of mind knowing that they have the basic skills to learn to swim. Because learning may just save your life. David Shum, Global News.